Look at that big chocolate bar! We are raising Voyagers, Heather, Brady, Alexa, and Chloe. In our last video, we made our way to the beautiful island of Sicily. And in today's video, we see what the small town of Monica has to offer. What are you doing? We're making us some breakfast at, the, at Alexa's Cafe. Cool. I named it that because we're playing Russian games. I'm playing for my field and see with my field. Toast is served. Enjoy. The view from this kitchen is fantastic. Don't you think, Alexa? Yeah. We even have a back porch. It's a bit cold this morning, but uh, this view is incredible. Got up really early this morning just to check it out. We are going to attempt to pull ourselves away from this view today and explore and see what Modica has to offer. Okay, here you go. Come on. Are you tired? Yeah. Okay. Don't get go don't go too far ahead of us. That's where we're trying to climb to. This way! That's okay, where we're climbing, climbing, huh? What do you think? You're, you're ready to go? She's ready to adventure. <laughs> I know the way. You know the way? I think. It is our first full day here in Sicily, and we are gonna stay in our little town that we're staying in, Monaco, for the day. And we're going to do a little bit of exploring. We're headed right now on the way up to, what's it called? <laughs> Castle of some sort. We're headed up to a Castello castle. Castello de Conti. What? Castello oh, wow. de Conti or something like that. That is probably really, really wrong. But that's what we're doing right now. Um, and we're climbing up, up, up. Hopefully we're going the right way. Hey, look at that. What? Pretty view. We can see our house from here. So I could not find any information on the correct path to take and there don't seem to be any signs. So we are attempting to just get there somehow. And I really hope we don't have to climb these stairs twice. <laughs> Look what I brought. It's chapstick. Is that a real chapstick? Yeah. Cool. I got it at my friend Ellie's party. Um, she's not, um, our friend Ellie Clark, but <laughs> she's from school. Can we do it? Yes. Well, hopefully we should be rewarded with uh, some of the best views of Monica. However, I'm not sure if it'll even be that or Airbnb, but we will oh. see. Come on, Chloe. She's keep picking flowers every day. Maybe all night. <laughs> all right, I wish there was magic stairs and a magic slide so there was an easier way to go up and down. Then we could slide all the way down. That would be cool. And the stairs would push us up. Ah! Ah! Echo! Echo! I think we're almost to the top. Chloe, we're you almost did it. it. Just a few, a few more, more steps. steps. You've done the whole thing on your own. Do you like climbing stairs? Yeah, my style. <laughs> I think we made it. Yeah, but I have some bad news. What? No. Well. Yay, yay, yay! Don't say yay. Isn't this crazy? How pretty. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Gorgeous. So the castle was closed, which is kind of a bummer, but we walked up here and now we get this amazing view. So we're just kind of enjoying it so we can get in for a little bit.
right now we are at the Cathedral of St. Giorgio and it is really pretty. It's got a bell tower in the top and we're kind of hoping we can go in and see. I'm not sure if we can yet or not. Wait, you there's a the sign over there. What? There's a sign over there. Let's let mommy and Chloe catch up. Okay, girls. What? If we go inside, you have to be very quiet. Uh, we were able to go inside of the church, which was really cool. It was very pretty, and the girls did an amazing job being quiet and respectful, and I got to have a little conversation with Alexa and Chloe about um, different religions and different things that different people believe and how they celebrate those things and why we act differently in different churches that we go into. Hey, jump. Chloe, jump. Three, two, one, jump. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, sh You're supposed to let go of her. Daddy, oh, <laughs> You still have to jump off that. Come up here and jump. I'll catch it. Are you gonna catch me? Yeah. <laughs> you jump. Know How about you, you sit down and then? Jump. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, mommy. Hey. Fire up there. Chloe. <laughs> 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 oh. I have this thing in my yeah. hand. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, no, 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 this is gonna end badly. <laughs> no, I'm gonna slow down. Take this and set it down. Alright, now you can stand here and help me. <laughs> Are you coming? Yeah! There's chocolate at the top of this hill. Oh, that's it. Try some. Oh, I'll try it. Oh, God. Cheesy bro, yeah. Yes, you don't like it. Oh, you want to try some? That's delicious. That's that chocolate. You're not so good, that's what it is. I know. Look at that big chocolate bar. So we found a little chocolate place right outside of the church and so now we are trying some really cool little chocolate treats. It is really delicious. <laughs> I guess that's my piece. <laughs> Monaco is famous for its chocolate. It is actually made from an old Aztec recipe and they use real sugar cane so it's really, really good and really special. Just take a little bite, it's pretty hard to break. Turn. Taste like chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> taste like chocolate. It has a real chocolatey taste to it. <laughs> so we got some chocolate to take home with us. Um, we almost forgot it. Chloe kind of started running out the door. So we just like left in a hurry and almost forgot it. So the lady came and ran after us to give us our chocolate, which I'm really glad because I would have been so sad if we would have gotten all the way back to our apartment and not had this lovely chocolate to eat. It's really good. It is very different than the, any chocolate we've ever had before. It's got kind of a... Um, it has oranges and coffee in it. <laughs> we got a few different flavors, orange, coffee, and dark chocolate. But um, it has, is a little bit... Um, has like a granulated texture to it. It's a little different than, um, than regular chocolate, but it's delicious. So traveling has gotten significantly easier now that Chloe climbs stairs all by herself. Um, she's getting big enough to where she can handle herself and it's gotten a lot easier. So 
it's amazing to think that for how beautiful this city is, it actually has some of the cheapest real estate in the world. Uh, really all of Sicily does. There are currently, I read, thousands of property for sale for only one euro for the entire place. And sure, it's gonna take a lot of work to get it fixed up. And yes, a place like that would take a lot of work to fix up, but I can't imagine working on that, buying it so cheaply, being able to fix it up how you wanted to, and then living in a place like this so affordably. It seems like the best way to retire. This is definitely a city of churches. So we knew absolutely nothing about this town before we came here. And after exploring today, it has been so much fun. It's such a cool little city. I'm not surprised because anytime we've ever explored a random Italian city, it's always been such a cool experience. groceries. Look, we even got yogurt. Yeah. This is too heavy. That's too heavy? dish I know how to make. It's nothing fancy. I know we're in Italy. I just call this goulash. I don't even know what kind of pasta it is, <laughs> but uh, we're, we're cheap, so we're having a semi-Italian dinner at home tonight. I'm a terrible cook, uh, but I'm, I try to keep things to like four or five ingredients, and this is one of my mom's recipes. Um, she would always make this for us. Um, fairly traditional, but she would add just a little bit of brown sugar to make the uh, sauce a little bit sweet. Um, I rated the uh, the spice cover, couldn't find any brown sugar, but added a little bit of normal sugar just to make things a little bit better. So we love eating out, but with the girls, it's a little tricky. They get a little antsy when we're at restaurants and we have to bring a lot of supplies with us to keep them occupied. And so it's really nice when we can just cook at our Airbnb and not all Airbnbs are equipped with a kitchen and everything so that we can easily cook, but this one is, so we're taking full advantage of it. We're having noodles for dinner. And they have meatballs in it, yummy. Meatballs in it? I don't like meatballs. I said meatballs. You love your say, man. This is meatballs. 
Chloe, this is a meatball. This is a teaball. This is a yummy noodle. A pine noodle. I'm getting so much big noodle. And I slurp them up. Yummy. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Chloe, you got noodles. <laughs>